What's going on everyone? Uh, today we're talking about race nutrition, training nutrition, specifically sodium. Okay, so what are the electrolytes? But how much do you need? That's what we're going to talk about today. So why do you need sodium? And why do you need 1500 milligrams of sodium per liter of fluid that you take in? Okay, so uh, yes, everybody knows you need electrolytes. Um, they're good for you. You need them. There's sodium, potassium, magnesium. There's so many different um, you know, uh, electrolytes that you're going to need. Um, but today I want to talk about sodium because it's perhaps one of the most important. So sodium is what's going to help your body retain the water that you take in. Okay. Everybody knows you need to hydrate, but everybody also knows that when you try and hydrate a lot, you end up peeing a lot. Well, if you don't have enough sodium, you're not actually going to retain the fluids that you're taking in. The fluids are just going to go right into your mouth, uh, through your stomach, into your kidneys and out your bladder into the toilet. So if you're going to go on a road trip, you want to fill your car up with gas. Well, what happens if your gas tank has holes in it? You're going to lose it. It's not going to do anything good for you. That's why you need sodium. Because if you want to maintain and retain the water and fluids that you take in to stay hydrated, you need proper uh, amounts of sodium in order to maintain the fluids in your blood plasma, right? And that's ultimately the goal. We've talked before about blood plasma volume being one of the single most crucial components of being effective when it comes to endurance training. Well, I don't care what sport it is, if you want to do anything for long periods of time, you need high blood plasma volume, as high as you can possibly tolerate, because that's going to help keep delivering red blood cells, oxygen, nutrients, fluids to your working muscles for the entire duration. So you want to get a high blood plasma volume and you want to maintain it for as long as possible. So you need to hydrate beforehand and you need to keep enough fluids in there to maintain blood plasma. And to do that, you need fluids and you need sodium. All right, the carbohydrates are your energy, but your fluids and your sodium are what's going to keep your blood plasma volume up and deliver the fluids to your working muscles. So, yeah, right, end of talk. No, I'm just kidding. So yes, salt is very important. Sodium is very important. Not only do you need to hydrate and take in enough fluids, which we talked about in the last video, all right, you need to be taking in 1,500 milligrams of sodium uh, per liter of fluid, okay? So think about that. Per liter of fluid ingested, you want about 1,500 milligrams of sodium. That's kind of the middle of the road. If you're a heavy sweater, or if it's super hot out, or if it's super humid, you're probably gonna need more. You can take up to 1,800, 2,000 milligrams of sodium, all right? If you don't sweat a lot, or if it's a cool fall day or a winter train run, you're not going to need that much. Right? You may get away with 1,000 milligrams, 1,200 milligrams of sodium per, uh, per liter of fluid. Okay. Um, on the lower end, 750 milligrams seems to be the least amount that people can get away with to still maintain blood plasma and still stay hydrated. So uh, it sounds like a lot, all right? But here's the thing about sodium. Your body's just going to get rid of the excess. All right? Have you ever trained or raced and you have that filled with salt on your skin, right, or on your, your, your race outfit, that's not because you're losing a lot of salt in your sweat. You're not a heavy, salty sweater. That's actually kind of a myth. Your body's actually self-regulating and getting rid of the excess, all right? So, but that's not necessarily meaning that you're getting enough because you could be dehydrated as well. And if you don't have enough fluids, your body's going to get rid of the salt that you don't need, that you're not using. Well, you need it. You're just not using it because you're dehydrated. So your body will get rid of the excess no matter what. If you're, overly if you're properly hydrated and you have too much sodium, your body is going to get rid of the salt in your sweat and you're going to be just fine. If you have sufficient sodium, but you're dehydrated, well, guess what? You have too much sodium, your body's also going to get rid of the excess. So just because you're sweating the salt out doesn't necessarily mean you're properly hydrated and, and fueled and salted. You could still be dehydrated and still be behind the eight ball. So um, again, a little tangent here, but um, you can't have too much sodium because your body's just going to sweat it out. So don't be afraid that you're going to spike your blood pressure or anything like that. Again, your body handles things much differently during exercise than when sitting at rest. So uh, don't be afraid to get excess sodium in because most of the products out there for nutrition and the drink mixes are going to have some sodium in them, but they're not going to have anywhere near enough. Okay, I've seen little packets of electrolytes that only have 55 milligrams of sodium, and you're supposed to put that in 12 to 16 ounces. Well, big deal, right? 55 milligrams, you need 1,500 milligrams per liter. Uh, I've seen other drink mixes, Gatorade and such, Morton, where you get up to 300, 400 milligrams of sodium. Um, but again, we're talking per liter, and most of those aren't meant for a liter's worth of mixing. So um, how do you get sufficient sodium in? Um, even though your solids may have a little bit of sodium in them as well, um, you're going to carry a flask with you, you're going to have your bottle, you're going to have your hydration vest with all the bottles in there. Um, so how do you get sufficient sodium in it? Well, I'll be honest with you. 
Salt stick are two common uh, products that we use. Um, you know, the, the caffeinated ones have 190 milligrams per capsule. The uncaffeinated have 200 milligrams per capsule. And so when I'm training, um, depending on my race mix, um, I may throw a capsule in every 10 or 15 minutes, depending on what my pre-mix has in it. Um, but honestly, one of the things that we love is this is just a two pound bag of sodium citrate that we get, um, a little bit different than table salt. And I put a teaspoon in per bottle. And depending on the specific product and different company that makes this, a teaspoon can have anywhere from 700 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams of sodium um, you know, per scoop. So um, that's a great way to, to add that supplement into your drink to make sure you're getting the right amount of sodium. And it doesn't even taste that salty, at least to me. Um, I know it's tough to be low on, a sodium, uh, low on sodium in a Western diet, but, but still, a teaspoon of this stuff doesn't make it overly salty. It's not like you're drinking ocean water. So, uh, especially if it has a little bit of flavor in it too, you're going to be just fine. So, there's no shortage of ways to uh, to supplement and get enough sodium in your um, your fuel or in your hydration. Uh, the take home is that you need it, and there's tons of options out there for you. So, um, again, this is sodium citrate. Sodium citrate is a little different than regular, um, you know, sodium chloride, which is going to be table salt. This actually has three times the amount of sodium molecules in it uh, compared to uh, other types of sodium. So. That's why we like it. You don't get nearly as much of that salty taste and you're getting much more bang for your buck. So sodium citrate is gonna be the sodium of choice if you look at any kind of nutrition. If you look at salt stick, it's got sodium um, citrate in there. If you look at the goose, um, the Morton gels, anything else, they're all likely going to have sodium citrate in there. So again, this is just the pure brand. I don't care. I just grabbed the first bag that I could find um, and you just need to take a look at uh, what brand it is and what the concentration of sodium is per, uh, per teaspoon. So um, that's really the talk guys and it's not much more simple than that. I'll, I'll take my Morton or my Gatorade mix, put it in my bottle, I'll put a scoop of that in there and I'll kind of do the simple math in my head to see if I'm getting around that 1500 milligrams mark. Um, if it's a hot, hot summer day, um, I'm gonna be putting a little bit more in there um, or I may pop another one of these um, you know, you know, in the hour. Um, but that's really it. I just want to make sure I'm not behind the eight ball and I want to make sure I'm getting enough fluids in me and retaining those fluids for training and racing. Um, this is a really easy way that people bonk because they're just not prepared for it. They think that they're taking a lot of fluids, but they're not retaining it. All right. They're just stopping at the, uh, the restrooms of the port potty. Um, and it's really kind of working against them. So, uh, sodium is super important. Yeah. It's a great electrolyte. Uh, but the main reason we need it is to, uh, to maintain that blood plasma volume so we can stay hydrated throughout the entire event, whether it's training, racing, I don't even care about the, uh, the event. If it's an endurance event, you gotta stay hydrated. You're gonna need more sodium than what's out there in the, uh, in the product. So 1500 milligrams per liter, you gotta do the math, find out how many liters you need per hour too. That's the other video, but uh, sodium is a, is a good product to get to know and understand. And the more you understand about why you need it, um, you'll be able to make better choices. So happy training y'all.